At Siri, with funding from the Department of Homeland Security, we're helping enhance the security and resilience of the infrastructure Americans so often take for granted. Our homeland is, is under attack, 7x24, 365, now. Telecommunications, transportation, 911 certainly, water systems, oil and gas, delivery, everything depends on cyber. Many people don't realize our 911 system is vulnerable. In the fall of 2022, every seven seconds for five hours, a deactivated wireless device called and then hung up on dispatchers at Erie County's 911 center. For five hours, an entire county was left helpless. We're developing methods to get next-gen 911 to market faster. That lives literally depend on uh, 911 systems. Next generation 911 will incorporate a lot of capabilities that we don't have right now. Text, uh, data, and video. I have, you know, absolutely no doubt that the next time that there's any kind of major, you know, shooting war, there's going to be attacks, uh, cyber attacks on critical infrastructures. We're working on a plan to deal with a kind of weapon most of us have never considered, an electromagnetic pulse. It's like a hidden tsunami that travels through the electric grid. I think EMP is not just fascinating, it's quite frankly, it's frightening. A device of sufficient yield at sufficient altitude over, say, Kansas could put out the lights over probably two-thirds of this country. What we're trying to do at Siri is to understand the impacts of this on 5G equipment, telecommunications infrastructure, in such a way that that infrastructure can be hardened against electromagnetic pulse. In LA, we're studying earthquakes versus water pipes. Can we build an algorithm to tell us which water pipes are most vulnerable to earthquakes so we can upgrade them first? City in its mission has on really working on real world problems, making sure that there's a customer, that there's a real need. LA already had committed to making this network a reality, but they didn't know how. So I found this an opportunity to use my AI research to solve a problem that was really needed. The nation is experiencing a massive shortage in the talent needed to fend off attacks. It's why we're also launching new training courses in cybersecurity. If you're interested in learning more or starting a career in cybersecurity, go to siri.illinois.edu. Our nation's critical infrastructure keeps us on our feet. It keeps the power on, the water flowing, and our planes and buses on schedule. And because it's so important, if our infrastructure ever goes down, it must be able to bounce back quickly. In other words, it needs to be resilient. That's what we do here at the Critical Infrastructure Resilience Institute. We come up with solutions to make our country's infrastructure more resilient. Resilience is more than protection or safety. It's the ability to endure a disruption, to fail gracefully, and to recover as efficiently as possible. When the power goes out, a resilient system would have the lights back on in no time. Resilience also means recovering quickly after an attack or failure, like reopening communication after a hurricane, so loved ones can talk and emergency crews can coordinate. Bottom line, when the unexpected happens, resilience is what keeps our critical infrastructure functional, which keeps you and me safe and headache-free. To learn more, visit us online at siri.illinois.edu. The world around us relies on critical infrastructure to function. But why? What's so critical about critical infrastructure? Well, think about it this way. Every day, you walk around, talk to your friends, make important decisions at work, and do dozens of other things without thinking twice about them. Because your brain allows you to. It keeps things running behind the scenes so everything just works when it needs to. Critical infrastructure is sort of like our country's brain. It keeps the lights on, the water flowing, and communication systems online. It keeps our shops stocked, our banks secure, and our national defense is armed. But like our brains, our critical infrastructure isn't invincible. When natural disasters, attacks, or even random failures of our critical infrastructure happen, it may cause confusion or even chaos. That's why the Critical Infrastructure Resilience Institute works around the clock to keep our infrastructure as secure and resilient as possible. How do we do it? Visit us online at siri.illinois.edu to find out now.